Hi everyone, welcome to Paternix Corner. My name's Terry and today we're going to make some southern pickled quail's eggs. Uh, I've already boiled up the uh, quail's eggs. I figure everybody knows how to do that. Uh, the main, main thing is to keep stirring it when you first uh, start it. That'll center the oak. Um, and I, I hard boil mine for about three to three and a half minutes and then uh, dump them in an ice bath before peeling them. Um, these are already peeled, but what I did, uh, I recorded earlier, um, it's a technique my wife showed me as far as uh, making the eggs easier to peel. Uh, basically, you just take the egg and stick it in a mason jar or any kind of a jar, fill it up to about halfway with water, and then shake it vigorously and drain the water off, and then the shells will peel right off. So. Um, that works great. Um, I have seen videos where people soak the eggs overnight in vinegar uh, and then supposedly just the membrane is left in the morning to peel, but uh, I didn't want to wait 12 hours, so I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make two different uh, batches. They're only half quart. Um, one is going to be a spicier batch, which is for me, it's got a lot of pepper and whatnot in it. And then uh, just a normal batch for uh, anyone else that wants to eat them. So let me go ahead and, well, let's go ahead and mix up the mix first. Um, first one we're going to start with will be the, uh, the regular, which takes one cup of white vinegar. And for that one, got one cup of white vinegar. And a half a cup of apple cider vinegar. And about a quarter cup of water. And the measurements don't have to be exact, just kind of do it to taste, I guess. Okay, and the other one I might as well go ahead and get. That will be just two cups of white vinegar. Actually, I want to go about a cup and three quarters, and then uh, and then some water, just to kind of dump the vinegar down a little bit. Okay, uh, some stuff that I got. Um, you can go out and you get all the spices. Um, I just went to Walmart and I found a. Uh, Mixed pickling spice. It's got everything in it that I've seen a lot of people online use. Uh, dill, mustard seed, uh, bay leaf. Uh, basically everything you see people on, online use. And on each of these, I'm not sure how strong this stuff is, so I'm only going to do about a tablespoon each. Let's see if I can move for it. Yeah, maybe about a tablespoon. And a pinch of red pepper flakes. And a lot of people would say to use uh, uh, sea salt or uh, kosher salt, I think pickling salt, whatever it is. Uh, I just use Himalayan pink salt. Uh, it seems to work fine. See if I can get the cap off of that. Probably about a uh, half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, and on the that's going to pretty much do it for the the regular one. I'm going to go ahead and put that on, and get that going, and then the spicy one, the one I like, get some uh, jalapeno pepper slices. just to give it a little bit of bite. Seeds and all. And then I do have some uh, garlic cloves. 
which on the regular one will get two cloves, and on the spicy one will get one clove, uh, but I don't put that in until I actually pour them into the jar over the egg. So let me go ahead and fire that one up. We're going to bring those to a boil, and while we're waiting on that, we're going to go ahead and put our eggs in the jar. I didn't count these, so I'm just going to do them two at a time per jar and try to keep it even. Looks like that's going to work out about perfect. It's just about right. So great. Gas just about ready to boil. Uh, like I say, as soon as uh, <coughs> the spicy ones bring to a boil, I'll go ahead and add some uh, beet juice to it. And probably, I think I've got a little slice of beet in there. I'll also throw that in with it. Um, and then the, uh, the garlic cloves I can stick in now. Um, we're going to get two garlic cloves on the uh, regular ones. And one garlic clove on the spicy. Okay, this one's already starting to boil. So we can shut that one off. <coughs> Okay, and then just fill it up about to where the uh, ring is on the net. <clears throat> and the other one's starting to boil, so I'm going to go ahead and add just a splash of beet juice. And uh, see if I can't get some of these small beets out of there to put in with the, with the eggs. Okay, that kind of cooled that down a little bit. I think that's fine. Okay, the one thing I do want to get is all my peppers. this one just to make room for the peppers <clears throat> okay so there you have it um, what I'll do is uh, we'll, we'll cap these off and throw them in the fridge. Now some people will take them and they will actually add them back to boiling water uh, just like as if you were canning um, and then take them out and wait for them to seal but this is pretty hot so it most likely will seal anyhow as they cool. Okay that's about it guys. Real short and simple process. We'll throw these in the fridge. We'll let them sit for about a week, week and a half and then we'll have some snacks to enjoy. Um, I appreciate you joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, check back soon. We got a lot of new stuff coming up. Thanks a lot.